Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to talk about BA, Boeing. Boeing had some exciting news yesterday, and plus Pfizer kind of brought it down a little bit yesterday, but I think it was just like a fake out, and we're going to get back up to 250 That's my target price on Boeing. Let's go ahead and pull up the chart right now. The indices look good today. Indice right there, look at that. We're in the green. That means Boeing's going to be in the green today. We had a big bounce after in the morning pre-market on Boeing there's let me see I've got something I wanted to thought I had to show here on Boeing see what kind of news they had yesterday in a way Boeing pops on the deal here on a big jet deal CEO of 737 max purchase is going to be one of the safest aircrafts ever delivered is according to what the CEO says. So there's a couple good ideas. Then the vaccine coming out is another catalyst for Boeing for it to go ahead and break out. And I think we're 2021 is going to be a good year for Boeing. We've had a pretty good bounce. We called the very bottom on it, right around 150. We're up here right around what? Let's look at the chart here real fast. Kind of discussed the chart, but the I like how the indices are opening up this morning, and it had a nice little pump. Got a little pivot point area in this chart right here at 238.68. I got in the trade yesterday right down here on this dip, and I bought it right here. So I bought two contracts there, and I also bought a put, bought a strangle when I got down here at this dip down here. And it kind of broke out pretty much even. Let me see if I can pull this other one up. There we go. I got the uh, 225 put and the strangle and the 250 call, and then I bought another call at 250, that pre-market, that earlier trade. So that's what I got invested in Boeing right now. Let's go back to the chart. Let's pull up the 20-day and just have a little look at the 20-day, just see if I'm right. We are up here in this, we, have, we are in a breakout spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this drawing. It's kind of looking a little foggy and I'm going to redraw it up. Just see where we are. We had that, that low support right down here at right around 223. I don't see that happening. Then we've got this two engulfing candles on the hour. Let's magnify this up a little bit. Get in right in here. Bam. There's a nice little support level, and then there's another one right down here. I'm going to get the bottom of this candle right here. Then we've got this support level right here, and I'm going to copy on this wick. Then we're going to go bring her down to the... Let's go ahead and put a resistance line on this. That was yesterday's high. would be right around 241.03. So we're charting this up for you. Let's go ahead and just look at the three-minute. I usually don't target the three minute. I like to look at the one minute for any kind of, see how, how pr more precise that one minute is. And then we got another one right down here. Another little support. So I want this support to hold right here. It's 235.88. I'm going to put that in a red line. I'll show you why I like that. Because we had that bottom right here. Now, I could raise that up. It might be a smart idea to raise that up and put a little chamber right in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's support level right in here. Then I'm going to turn this thing off. Make this red. Then I'm going to color that in because I want that to be very important. A little support area. I want it to hold. If not, it's going to be a strong buy down that lower channel. Let 
right there. And then if it doesn't hold, it'll be this next support area that's going to be right down in here. This is how you catch knives. If it decides to knife, you want to look for places of consolidation. I found a pivot point in here. See, I, I didn't take it up in here. I took it down here where that bottom is. So that would be my first knife if it does decide to knife. And then if the market starts to turn red all of a sudden, then my second support's going to be right down here, right around 232.44 to this. I'm going to magnify this up to this 236. No. Nope. Yeah. No. Nope. Let me go back here again. 232.34 and that 233.56 will be the low support. Then that first one's going to be right here, right around 235.85 to 236.37. Now I've got a target on this for 250 today. If we can break this resistance here at 241.76, we'll be off to the races. And that's how I'm going to be looking at Boeing today. I'm very excited about Boeing. Called it down when it was under 200. I said we're going to go to 2. 225 or 220 and then I said 230 and we hit 230 now I'm calling 250 and then we'll definitely find some consolidation and create a channel I think we're in a process of now of creating that channel and I'll show you on the five day this channel right in here I want to keep this channel going from right down here on up to the side oversold area is going to be right down here so that's Boeing that's a little update how I'm going to be looking at it today and I wish everybody a great day. Please subscribe. Ring that bell to I Love Stocks on that YouTube channel. We sure would appreciate that. We need to build up some followers. You can follow some of these old videos that I have on here. I have some old lessons on here too. Like a watch list lesson. Oh, that's a single one right there. But yeah, go back and look at some of our library there. Have a great day. I Love Stocks.